Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I've um, I've been playing around with my Tundra V2, and I've got a video transmitter now connected up to it. It's just a spare Esheen TX801, I think it is. Just mounted on the inside of the of the fuse. So basically, and special was this Hawkeye action camera, which I've just just purchased. It's the uh, Q6 Firefly. It records 4K, uh, 1080p, and 2.7 res. Um, I've got it set to 1080-60. So my, my my thought was it was a going on special at Banggood, so I picked one up to look at possibly putting it on multiple multiple planes and possibly some some of the vehicles I've got too. So I thought yeah it'd be very handy just to be able to put some velcro on the back of a of an action camera and make it transportable from plane to plane. And the good thing with this is you can FPV with this camera. It comes with a micro USB cable here uh, which you can actually connect it up to a video transmitter which I've actually done to the Tundra and yeah, Velcro this in any position basically if you want to fly it FPV or not um, It's up to you, but I thought I'd like to try the FPV on the on the Tundra I haven't done that yet at the same time. I can also record my my footage at 1080p at 60 frames per second, so So I'll show you the, the Tundra and I made up a wiring harness for that and um, Just show you how I've sorted that out Okay, so basically, <clears throat> like I say, I put some Velcro up the top here. So I plan to be able to position it like that to fly FPV, or else I can record looking at the wing, record looking backwards. So that's the beauty with that. I, c I couldn't mount it back any further. That's my GPS unit sitting just in here, because um, this runs an APM 2.5 that I had in a Quantum Nova. It's got a telemetry module in the back here as well which sends its data to uh, Mission Planner via a laptop. So the wiring harness I've done here, I've, I'll just take the hatch off and then undo the back one as well. And I'll just show you. So there's the micro USB that came with the camera. Basically is going to plug into the camera here. And I've made up a wiring harness. I've put a VTX. It's an Esheen um, TX801. I'll put that in, uh, in on the side of the fuse and a wiring harness here which is made up connected to uh, the cable that I've, um, that I've made. To power it all, uh, these cameras here they only run 5 volts so you can't power any more into it than 5 volts. So what I've had to do is wire it straight into the video transmitter there's a there's an outlet a 5 volt outlet this video transmitter can run anywhere up to 6s 24 volt so what I've done I've soldered this cable here onto my um, power module so it, this this plane I'm only running 3 cell battery anyway it's 11 volts it can run 14 volts 4 cell battery but I don't need that so this is always connected basically so this is connected running running full power to the video transmitter and then the video transmitter then runs 5 volts up to this cable here which powers the the firefly so the good thing is when i um when i plug it all in and power up the battery it automatically turns the camera on all i've got to do is hit the record button and it starts recording so that's basically it. I've taken it out to the field this morning, so I'll give you a sh give you a bit of a look at what this camera does. It's filmed in 1080, 60 frames per second, and I had a little bit of a go flying at FPV. It was um, a bit difficult at times, so I did a bit of mixture of line of sight and FPV during this um, flight. But it's only a, a five minute flight, so it's not very long. Just get you an I give you an idea of what the uh, a Q6 Firefly camera can do and what FPV is like on a Tundra. Cheers guys.